Vandalism at two central Ohio cemeteries, one of them the final resting place for veterans. The destruction comes the very week we celebrate Veterans Day. NBC4's Beth Delpani is live tonight in Fairfield County where it all happened. Beth, I'm sure a lot of people are very upset about this. Most definitely, Dwayne, and it's very obvious the destruction, damage, even the broken pieces here at these cemeteries. I've spoken with folks who work here, those who have loved ones buried here. As you might imagine, they are so upset at the lack of respect shown. And then you add to that all the time, effort, and expense to fix all this. Paul Thompson Jr. went to visit his parents' grave sites on Wednesday of this week. The day was special for many reasons. Paul is a veteran himself. His dad fought in World War II, and it was his deceased mother's birthday. But when he arrived at the cemetery, he couldn't believe what he saw. They had painted Tuesday night uh, on the mausoleum all the way around it and uh, sprayed on the granite that has the uh, veterans' names on it. Vandals had left their mark. They also knocked over and broke three statues. Some of the grave markers had been painted over, too. Hurt, uh, no respect for the veterans. Uh, we f we fight and protect our country, and for someone to come in and I know it happens at other cemeteries, uh, but doing it to a veterans cemetery is it, just I, I I just can't describe it. it. It hurts real deep. Sandy Sharon is the new director of the Arlington Field of Honor. She was here on Veterans Day for a ceremony. Drove up about 10.30 that morning and looked at this and just cried. Just cried of all days on Veterans Day. Sandy says the neighboring Union Grove Cemetery got hit too. They came through here and got over 100 of their headstones as well. I don't know why anybody would do this to any ceremony or cemetery, let alone a veteran cemetery. You will certainly want to stay with us because coming up at six o'clock, I spoke with a gentleman who has taken care of one of these cemeteries for more than 30 years, a lot of time invested here. Spoke to him about what it's going to take to get all of this repaired. That is coming up at six o'clock. For now, they're reporting live in Fairfield County, Beth Del Pony, NBC4.